Some residents on Molokai are feeling like they, they're being left in the lurch because Ohana by Hawaiian is stopping service to the Friendly Isle and Lanai on January 14th. When that happens, Mokulele Airlines will be the only carrier offering flights to those destinations. KITV4's Diana Ko now joins us live tonight. Uh, we hope to have Diana are you there. Okay, will this decision have an adverse effect on many people? spend money, but the problems are much bigger than that. The reality is it involves basic needs like traveling to Oahu for medical, judicial or school appointments. Ui Kahui and one of her adult children run her business, Maui Grown 808, on the Valley Isle, selling native plants and crafts. They fly home to Molokai on the weekends, and that's not cheap. Now I'm looking at $200 on Mokulele, and I can't afford that every week. And I'm sure once Ohana leaves um, and the only game in town is Mokulele, it's going to become even more um, expensive. Kahui is dreading the day Ohana by Hawaiian pulls out of the market. Now it's, it's become farther and fewer between as far as the visits home. She says her entire family will feel the pinch, her husband, for medical reasons. He's 100% um, um, disabled. We normally have um, monthly trips to Honolulu for doctor's visits. And um, since COVID, that has, he's been without services for the last six months. The Kahui Ohana will also have to pay more for their daughter's plane tickets when schools across the state resume in-person teaching. In order to compete with other schools around the state, it's usually us who have to go someplace else. And um, for Honolulu, you know, with the lack of Ohana, that's going to be really tough. And Kahui worries about the elders in her community, knowing Mokulele Airlines operates only nine-seat turboprops. There's a lot of kupuna who are not able to um, board the smaller planes. Um, so without Ohana, I have no idea how they're going to, you know, facilitate care. Right now, Ohana by Hawaiian has two daily round-trip flights between Honolulu, Molokai, and Lanai using 48-seat aircrafts. The Molokai Chamber of Commerce represents uh, about 30 members, and those are the main businesses on that island. What's the sense of concern? Well, with Ohana discontinuing their service to Molokai, we're going to see a decrease in airlift capacity and a resulting decrease in people coming to the island. And fewer people coming to the island is definitely going to affect our local businesses. Our community will be more resilient. Um, we'll, we'll overcome this, but it's going to be tough. And Rob Stevenson of the Molokai Chamber of Commerce says he has seen a small increase in tourist travel and restaurants we're open again, but he is concerned that the reduction in air travel could set this progress back. But at the same time, he says he is confident local businesses are resilient enough to adapt to the change. Live in the newsroom, Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.